Okay guys, so I fucked up. The past two weeks, I have not been consistent. I've not been tracking my calories. My goal of hitting 4,000 plus calories a day, I've not been hitting the mark. So I went back down to around 97.5 kilos about a week ago, and now I'm back up to where I was. So we haven't made any progress. So obviously guys, not making progress, well, it fucking sucks. But one thing that you guys need to understand is like progress is non-linear. You can have a really good couple of weeks putting on weight, especially on a bulk. And then obviously life happens and then you, you get those minor setbacks. But it's really important to not let that break your spirit. When you go through that, you need to just come back harder every single time. So some things that I'm, I'm putting in place for myself to stay disciplined, just tracking my calories to a T. So every day hitting that 4,000, 4,100 mark. Of course, I have to do things in the morning, very hard for me to eat. So I usually just start with a coffee and, and work really hard for, for four hours getting the most important things of the day done first and then after that I'll have a large meal and then so on and so on and then I still make sure I hit my hit my calorie mark every single day so that's what I've been doing for the past week which has been going very well so far hopefully by the next winter bulk episode I want to be at 100 kilos hitting that pre-digit mark what happened mate? I had an oopsie you had an oopsie? You're pressuring me, you're like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Xavier ran out of fuel, but, he's, but he's here now, and now we're going to the gym. <sighs> fucking idiot. No, bro, I got one of your hats at my house somewhere. I need to give back to you, dog shit, fucking hat. I don't want to. Oh, man. You a fucking rich nigga for the fame, won't you? Do it, get that pussy up to a lane, won't you? Like an old school. Alright, we're gonna go get that other plate over there. What do we Hey, you get that other plate over there. Fucking prick. Fucking orders of me. We're gonna be going um, for most of my training now. Six to eight reps to failure. Just so we're not picking up heaps of fatigue. Going in the higher rep ranges. So it's far better for hypertrophy going. Four reps. Um, of course, not too low. Not, not gonna be doing the R's and shit. Yeah. Alright. I redid the frame on you. I got my old shooters with me and they land on you. Third to them niggas at the six. A whole lot of lean, my nutrition. It should have told you I had to drink on you. Fuck. the fucking blood vessel. I got a good pump right now already. I'm just in that one set. Look at that. I actually grab it though. I find it all. Okay, for double D's. Go get B-Cup. Yeah, we should do that after this. Go target. Try on the bra. How you fucking tell? I keep a shooter with me like Malone. I fuck around and did it on my own. Come and fuck with me, baby. I'm a franchise. Valley in them Zans got me aggravated. That's fucking value, bro. Look at my quads. These have the biggest chicken legs. Oh, look at my quads. You're like the opposite of a fucking missing like that stereotypical person. I am. Put the tent on. Tent? Yeah. yeah. Looks like a little virgin. I don't know for you guys. I'm so gassed. So Xavier's fucking shitty set. He's learning. It's it's a it's a crazy day when Xavier's learning. Drop the ego and actually start training to failure. This motherfucker. I swear to God, has the best genetics. A product of the roaches in the mass trays. I inhale the love on a bad day. Baptized inside purple activists. I should have told you I was on the pill. I should have told you I was on the pill. Really cool, a gentleman's pool is just rested on your teeth. Make sure it's like twerking, fast twerking on your teeth. And then you just like explosive push it up. Except make sure your glutes do not come off the bench because that's what mine did. And it shan't count because then you'll just get roasted by the internet. Yeah, you're about to get roasted by the internet. Like, yeah. Oh my like, god, taking his kids' glutes down. Not that much off the bench. Comment section. Oh. Now his glutes came off the bench. It doesn't count. Levels at all times, there just has to be something levels coming out of him. Do 
Maybe there's a DJ there or something, like... <laughs> what are you looking at? I'm so nutty. That is so nutty. utensils around you. You don't have a funnel with you. You've got an old plate that I'm never gonna <laughs> fucking This guy's a again. fucking genius. I'm shove it in there. Shove it in the hole. Yeah. Nice. Fuck, I should call her. And then it's just a matter of doing it slow and steady like that. You save. So what happened, I was on my way to the gym. Currently we're about 800 meters from the gym, Darimut in Thomastown. Yeah. At that gym, 200 meters away, there's an actual gas station. So I'm probably about a kilometer away from the gas station, which is probably around like half a liter of fuel that you'd have to use to get there. So I'm half a liter of fuel away from a fucking petrol station. So many mathematics. Could you not just say, I ran out of fuel? That <laughs> I'm not the slave. Now, the moment of truth. It's actually fucked. The amount of times we've had like troubles and shit with our cars, but it's usually like his mistake. But um, like, I, I see kid you not, soon. Okay, four weeks ago. See you, bro. You're Hobo's doing in the street. You're just such well, a I'm not talking behind your back. I'm actually talking to your fucking face, aren't I? Anyways, now that he's gone, we can just talk shit about that motherfucker. And I got a flat tire like last week, but this motherfucker saved me, so I don't. So we're even now, we. But yeah, so the workout was really good. Like, we're only there for like 45 minutes, but we got like a really good session in. I think the important thing was just, just intensity, right? So we did about five sets of chest, every set to failure, or five sets to failure. Of course, we did warm-up sets as well. And then the same thing with biceps, which at the end of the day is, is enough stimulus for muscle growth because we do it twice a week as well. But yeah, so that was a fucking awesome workout. Now we're going to go home, see you guys. Back at the career. All right, guys, so I'm going to talk about the formula I'm putting in place to continue to grow on this bulk. Formula consists of four main fundamentals, including fasting every morning for four hours, tracking calories to a T, having snacks and clean food throughout the day so I don't feel sick. So the reason I've been fasting every morning is so that I can prioritize work for the first four hours of the day with a clear head and getting the hardest things done first. Next fundamental is tracking calories to a T. So as though I know I'm getting the right amount of foods in, as well as being able to analyze my daily nutrition. So I'm able to see protein intake, of course, carbohydrates, everything like that. Making sure I'm getting enough carbs, pre-workout meal. So tracking your calories is a, is a very, very, very important step to having successful bulk. The third and fourth fundamentals are eating high caloric clean foods so as though I don't feel sick throughout the day. This means cutting out processed foods that make me feel sick and inhibit me to further eat throughout the day. So I often find that when I eat things like macros, KFC, anything like that, I often feel sick and I, I, like I can't eat for like five hours. Of course, if you're a person that doesn't have that problem, then don't worry about it too much. But I still think it is good to have a clean bulk. A lot of people seem to struggle to structure their bulks and, and, take, and take a half ass just eat more approach. And if you want to optimize muscle growth, I think having a structured plan, even on your bulking phases, is key to a successful bulk. If you're straight off after your cut, you can just eat more and you'll gain weight. But after a while of, of bulking, you'll tend to find that you hit a plateau pretty quickly, especially if you're higher in, in body weight when you have to eat so much food. That's why things like tracking is so important. So yeah, having a structured plan, even on your bulking phases, is essential, I think. That brings us to the conclusion of this episode. Like always, thanks Gus for filming and editing. And then a special thank you to all the viewers out there um, who have given us positive feed feedback. We did re really well on the second Winter Bulk episode. The highest views we've had yet. Well, we can't wait to build a community. Stay tuned because we have some big things coming. So. 
Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.